A viewer named Derek sent me this broken Xbox One X to see if I could fix it, but there's something special about this one. And even better, Derek and his wife Curry sent me some snacks. This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, more on them in a minute. This Xbox One X is labeled as a prototype, so let's get it plugged in and see if it turns on. We do have a white light, but do we have anything on the screen? And it looks like we have no display. I'm automatically thinking possibly the Ridge driver chip, but I can't wait to get this thing open and see if there's any difference since it is a prototype model. I've got a production model right over here so we can compare and see if there are any differences, but let's get the prototype opened up. And let's see if we can see anything different. Okay, so far it actually looks all exactly the same. Now up here I have a production model Xbox One X. This production model was manufactured September of 2017. The Xbox One X was released in November of 2017. This one was manufactured in April of 2017. So that definitely supports the label on the back saying this is a prototype. And as I'm looking at it, I see no differences. Even all the labeling is exactly the same from the prototype and the production model. But what I'm really wondering is what does the prototype board look like? And this prototype hard drive is a one terabyte and it's manufactured by Seagate. On the production model power supply, we've got this little box up here with the part number, and then we also have the certifications, which are not on this prototype model. Now we do have some red marks on this clamp. I'm not sure whether that's from maybe it being opened up before, or maybe this is a prototype clamp. It says 05 October of 2016. Let's take a look at the clamp from the production model that I've got over here. The prototype model is labeled October 5, 2016, and the production model is labeled November 8, 2017. So at least the X clamp was manufactured about a year before the Xbox One X was released. Let's see if the prototype model came with the perfect amount of thermal paste. That is definitely not the perfect amount, so we'll need to fix that once we get this one fixed up. Let's see if there's any differences between this prototype motherboard and the production model. After looking very carefully at both of these boards, I just see nothing that is different. They look pretty much exactly the same. Now, an interesting thing is this USB port on the prototype board is marked. I don't know whether that's from, you know, if somebody else took it apart or if that is from the factory, I'm not really sure. But it's like a triangle sticker stuck onto the port. Don't know why it's there, but it's there. Now, looking at the markings under the build part of this white label, the production model says Cactus MB, and the prototype model says CADV-28A. No idea what any of that means. Maybe one of my viewers would be able to shed some light on these designations. So this prototype board looks to be a pretty late stage prototype, but as you saw earlier, it won't show up on the screen. So let's see if we can fix it. And one of the first things I always suspect with this type of problem is this little re-driver chip right here. Now Derek included his own chip when he sent this in, so what I'm gonna do is remove this chip and install this chip. Before we get to this repair, let's talk about today's sponsor, the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet comes in over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash, and Ridge Wallets have over 40,000 five-star reviews. I love the fact that Ridge includes additional screws and a screwdriver just in case you need it for your Ridge wallet. The durable materials means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. In fact, the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it, they're gonna let you test drive it for 45 days. And after that, if you don't love it, you can send it right back for a full refund. If you're looking for a Ridge wallet for yourself or to give as a gift, use my link in the description and code TRONIXFIX for 10% off your order. Now let's check out this motherboard. Anytime I have one of these in for repair, I like to check the HDMI port pins just to make sure none of them are loose. On the Xbox One X, I have seen pins come loose and that can cause the same problem that we're having. So I just go through and check each one. And they're all nice and tight and soldered down correctly on this board. So now we're gonna replace this re-driver chip. Now before I put this new chip onto the board, I need to go through and tin all these little pads and the big ground plane on the back. If I put it on here just like this, there's a good chance that one or more of these pads will not fully connect to the pads on the board. Whereas if I put a little bit of solder on each pad, they'll stick very easily. 
Derek and his wife Curry run a repair and resale business, and Derek said that his wife does most of the repairs when they need them done, but he wanted to send this to me so more people could enjoy watching the prototype being opened and seeing what's inside. They also have a YouTube channel called General Malice, and I'll link it in the description below if you're interested to see what they do. And that looks pretty good. Got all the joints soldered on correctly and solidly. So now we can install this back into the Xbox and see if that'll fix it. Okay, so now this is interesting. So this APU chip on the prototype board, it doesn't have the Xbox logo. It doesn't say 4K on it. It just has these little numbers right here. So this makes me wonder if this chip is the main thing that was the prototype on this board. This is the chip off the production board. As you can see, like I said, the logo and the 4K. It even says Xbox One down here. One thing we don't need to prototype is the perfect amount of thermal paste. There we go. Now we can get this thing back together and see if that fixed it. Malic acid, citric acid, chili powder. <laughs> what is this? Not totally sure what cherry bombs are. Strangely kind of good though. I'm not quite sure if I want another one or not. If you like this video, I think you'll like the video where I bought five broken Xbox Series X's to see if I could fix them. I'll leave a link for that video up on your screen now so you can come hang out with me over there and see if I could fix them. Oh, and you probably want to know if this works too. Well, let's check it out. Do we have anything on the screen? Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you again to Derek and Curry for sending this in. If you wanna buy a Ridge wallet, be sure to use my link in the description and my code TRONIXFIX for 10% off your order. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.